Hello and welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kimi. I'm a foreigner, expat, immigrant, whatever you want to call me, living in South Korea, and I like to talk about it on the internet. I also happen to work in Korean skincare, so that's why today we're talking about skincare. So I made a video almost exactly six months ago um, about fall skincare swaps, which you guys really seem to like. So today I'm going to give you an update with spring skincare swaps. And if you're wondering why it's important to change your routine or add products, adjust what products you're using, when the seasons change, external stimuli actually has a big impact on your skin and can change your skin's behavior and the way that products work with your skin. So it's important to kind of just do a check-in seasonally to take a look at the products that are working for you and not, and then come to this video so that I can suggest you some updates. <laughs> So let's get into spring skincare and what you might want to add or change about your routine. So the first thing about seasonal changes that can have a really big impact on your skin is the weather, obviously. So in the fall, it can get a lot colder and drier. So you're looking for more moisturizing, maybe heavier products. Um, to add into your routine whereas in the springtime obviously it's going to get a lot warmer but it's also going to get a lot more humid so you need to make sure that you're keeping your skin nice and clean because you're going to be sweating more which clogs your pores um, your skin will also produce more oil in the heat as well and of course if you're sweating out a lot of um water I guess it's not water, but you know what I mean? You're sweating out hydration. So also in the springtime, your skin is more likely to be dehydrated. So it's important to make sure that you're hydrating your skin as well. Another big thing is obviously when the weather is warmer, we want to be outside more. So it's really important that in the springtime, you are very diligent about sun protection. So SPF is not something that you're only going to use in spring and summer. You should be, you know, building a good habit by using it all year round. Um, I know some people are like, oh, but I sit inside and it's, you know, I don't need to wear sunscreen if I sit inside. You don't really, that'll be fair, I'll give that to you, but it's always better, is it not? Sunscreen is not going to hurt you, so even if you're inside, it's good to wear sunscreen, but especially spring, summer, fall, when you're spending more time outside, it's really important that you wear a strong SPF, like 50 plus, PA plus, 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 um, to make sure that you're getting the best protection and you're reapplying also frequently every two hours and the last one that happens in spring is obviously you know April showers bring May flowers so if you're someone who is sensitive to pollen or other like you have hay fever or some sort of allergy that is linked to um, pollination I don't know that's linked to your environment of course if your allergies are acting up your skin can get irritated if you're someone who has eczema or something else like that if you're dehydrated if you're not keeping your skin moisturized then you can aggravate those issues so it's also important this time of year to make sure that you're adding in a lot of like soothing and calming ingredients into your skincare that can help you sort of manage any reaction that you have to allergies if you have seasonal allergies it's time to get into some specifics I have a few examples of products that I would introduce to a spring skincare routine from a Korean cruelty-free vegan brand called the green I've been using them for the last three weeks and I am really loving their products there's one in particular that I'm really excited to talk about but I won't ru ruin the surprise um, this brand as I said is vegan and cruelty free which you know if you watch my skincare videos is something that is really important to me I love working with natural ingredients um, in my skincare and also I noticed when I opened this package may not, not the first thing I noticed but the second thing I noticed was that it actually has Braille on the outside of the box as well and their packaging is accessible so the fact that they think about you know the environment they're sustainable they're vegan and they also have accessible packaging i think is a really big plus because it's not something that i've seen in a lot of brands so i'm really excited to talk about them let's get into it so like i said when you're doing seasonal swaps you don't have to throw out your whole routine you can just make certain choices to kind of optimize your skincare for the season so in my case i don't like changing my cleanser or my toner because i don't really feel like they have an impact seasonal seasonality has an impact on them that's what I meant to say. But steps like serums and creams, I do tend to change season to season, making sure that I have like a lighter cream or a serum that's gonna address certain, um, certain seasonal changes in my skin, i.e. in the fall, if I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation, I'm going to add in a vitamin C to help 
brighten and even my skin tone. But in the spring, I'm gonna be focused more on those seasonal allergies and making sure that I keep my skin happy and I don't get about of rosacea, um, which is why I would recommend the Skin Purifying Tea Tree Serum because this is a super soothing, super calming treatment that is also great at addressing any breakouts. As we already talked about, the weather's warmer, you're gonna sweat, your skin's gonna produce more oils. And when this happens, it's really important to have something in your skincare that can help to um, unclog your pores, sweep away impurities. So whether that's a cleanser or something like this serum with tea tree extract, that will have a huge impact on keeping your skin sort of purified, as they say. In K-Beauty, if you ever see a product with a benefit like Purify, it's really addressing sort of pore care is the best comparison. They like to use the word purifying though instead. And what I love about this serum in particular is two things. One, it's super liquidy. So, oh, there she goes. <laughs> so it's, can you see that? It's not a serum that's really viscous, which can be okay on occasion, but I feel is more appropriate for sort of fall and winter. So when you need your skincare to be a little bit heavier, but because this is so liquidy, let me pick up the cap. Because this is so liquidy, not only does it mean it's super lightweight, so you don't feel weighed down by your serum, but also it absorbs so quickly and it just feels like a boost of hydration, which may just be mental, but because it has that sort of liquid consistency. So I love this. It means also that you can reduce the time of your skincare because you should be letting products absorb 100% before moving on to the next step. So when it does have this really like liquidy consistency, it's super quick to work with, lightweight, and absorbs really nicely. In addition to that, I love that this product has Centella Asiatica extract in it as well. So I talk about Centella Asiatica all the time. It's also called Sika. It is a super soothing and calming ingredient. So not only are you getting your pore care with this serum, but you're also going to do that soothing and calming that I talked about addressing any seasonal allergies that you might have or small skin irritations. We stand. Moving on to the next point of discussion, we're gonna talk about hydration. So as I mentioned, you are more likely, I assume, to be spending time outside. It's warmer, it's brighter, it's much easier to get de dehydrated in the spring and summer months. So it's important to also have an element of your routine that is hydration focused. So this of course could be a toner if you'd like, um, but also serums and moisturizers tend to have really great hydrating properties. And I am so excited to talk to you about this specific serum because it has such a cool ingredient in it that I have only ever seen in K-Beauty and I'm just, I'm like nerding out over this ingredient. This serum has several different mushroom extracts, okay? And this is the key to how it hydrates your skin. It's called Skin Barrier Reishi Serum. I think reishi is how you pronounce it. I only ever read it. I've never seen it out loud. But the three types of mushrooms are there's a reishi mushroom, there's a snow mushroom, and, and a chaga mushroom. The mushroom that I'm most excited about in this is the snow mushroom, which is also sometimes called tremella mushroom. And what's crazy about it is that it can carry something like a hundred times its weight in water, which means its hydrating properties are like insane. The reason why it's good also to have a hydrating element in your skincare is that it will help address any signs of premature aging and really help keep your skin's bounce. So another problem, of course, with sun exposure, which is why we wear SPF, is premature aging. So also making sure that your skin is hydrated will also help to, you know, make your skin more plump and youthful appearing as someone who's approaching 30. These are things that I have to think about. Um, and again, this serum has, I'm not gonna spill it this time, but you can watch. It has a really, there, well, I, I did spill it. It has a really um, liquid texture, which means again, it's super lightweight. It's really quick to absorb and will not weigh your skin down in the same way that like a cream or gel type serum would because that's already absorbed. I wouldn't just suggest this for spring either. If you're someone who has particularly dehydrated or dry skin, I really think that you should look for products with reishi or, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, R-E-I-S-H-I, reishi, um, or tremella mushroom in them because of their superior hydrating properties. Okay, last thing we're gonna talk about is moisturizers. So obviously in the winter time, it's really dry and cold. So you're looking for products that are super hydrating, probably a little bit thicker, maybe an occlusive cream that will help keep the moisture that you attract to your skin trapped inside. In the spring, it's gonna get more humid. So you're gonna look for a lighter, moisturizer that has more humectant properties so it will draw and attract moisture to the skin but it won't sort of 
have the same weight or presence as a winter cream would have. You want something that's a little bit more breathable, a little bit lighter, you know, not gonna weigh you down. I love gel type moisturizers in the spring and summer seasons. And now this is also something that I feel like I don't see a lot of in European and North American beauty. And when I first tried them, I didn't really understand how to use them. So I hated gel type moisturizers, but now I know. The problem with gel type moisturizers, if you don't use them properly, is that they're gonna leave like a film or they might leave your skin feeling sticky. So the best thing that you should do is actually something I'm seeing trending on TikTok right now, interestingly enough, and that's skin flooding. So normally, as I said earlier, I would recommend letting all of your products absorb into your skin before moving on to the next step. But if you're using, there's always a but, if you're using a gel type moisturizer, I would actually encourage you to layer this on immediately after you put on the serum because with a gel type moisturizer, in order to avoid leaving sort of a film or a stickiness, you need to make sure your skin is very hydrated. And the trend of skin flooding is like, you know, leaving, getting out of the shower, your, your face is still wet and starting to apply products when you literally have physical water on your face. Um, which is trying to tap into the theory that you need really hydrated skin in order for your products to work effectively. And this is you know, really important, as I said, for gel type moisturizers. So make sure your skin is really well hydrated. It can even be damp from your last product in order to get the best results from a gel type moisturizer. And there she's all absorbed in. I didn't show you what it looked like, one second. So it almost looks like a cleanser, which is interesting, but She's not, she's a moisturizer as we know. And with this uh, one that I'm using right now, this is obviously also of a green product and it has tea tree extract as well. So this is the Skin Purifying Tea Tree Gel Cream. Exactly what it sounds like it should be. Virtually no scent. It's got a little bit of a natural tea tree smell to it. Tea tree and you smell a little bit of the uh, Centella Asiatica in there as well. But again, what's great about this is knowing that your skin's be producing more oils, you're gonna be sweating. This is sort of double duty on the purifying. So pairing it with the serum, with the same um, main ingredient of the tea tree is really gonna help you sort of target any blemishes and also keep your skin soothed. It's almost, interestingly enough, now that I've said that, kind of the texture of like an aloe vera, which also, if you sunburn, <laughs> very easily like I do, then this sort of gel type cream with Centella Asiatica in it is really gonna help to calm your skin. And if you do have a sunburn, I guess you could even throw this into the fridge and that would be, that would be nice. Actually, I may go put this in the fridge. Not that I'm sunburned, but that would just be, I love like the ritual of skincare and I think that this would be a really nice product to sort of apply cold. Yeah, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. <laughs> The other things that I wanna mention just before I end this video is also just general sort of spring cleaning skincare tips. So you should always make sure that you check the expiry date of your products. So in this case, I can see I've got the expiry right there. It's usually on the outside of the box. So this one's good until 2025, but obviously you saw me apply it, which means you know that it's open. And so it's also important to look on your packages for this little, is it gonna, is she gonna focus? I actually can't tell if that's focused or not, but if you see a little package there that says 12M, that means that after I open it, it is good for 12 months. So it is also, you know, really handy um, if you don't go through skin products <laughs> as quickly as I do, if you're not, a, you know, obsessed with skincare. I know I'll finish this this year. I don't have to worry about it, but if you're unsure you'll finish a product within the time that's allotted on this little icon, it's good to write on the box as well when you opened it so that you make sure that you can you know dispose of it when it's no longer at its best that's gonna be everything for me today i hope you enjoyed these spring skincare recommendation and guidelines for spring cleaning your skincare at the end there threw that in um if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below i'm happy to advise you on skincare if you have questions about the products that you're using need a recommendation or what not, as I mentioned, this is my day job. I do this all the time. So happy to provide any advice that I can. I'll also leave a link for these Vigreen products. You need this, you want this. Um, so I'll link it for you below. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.